This looks so delicious. Only here in the Philippines can you find this kind of pizza. Awesome. Well, I can really feel the heat over here with all the charcoals. Okay, so let's let's check out the deep fried watermelon. So it's Mississippi fried watermelon slices made from quick, quick style. O oishi desu ka? Oishi, oishi. Oishi. Mm. There we go, we got the oishi approval. Hello, and welcome to another beautiful day here in Manila, Philippines. So currently I'm at this beautiful Sunday market just right over here. This is the name of the Sunday market. It's called Lagzip Sunday Market. They have a lot of delicious Filipino street foods. And I'm just super excited to try it out. Also, I'm here with my Japanese friend, Kyoko. Hello. Hi, hello. Yeah, so she's also super excited as well. Because I'm from America, she's from Japan. So we're going to try out some delicious Filipino street food. Hopefully we can find the best today and show you. Because I know this market has some delicious food. We just skimmed around a little bit. As always, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And let's see what delicious Filipino food we can find. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, let's go. All right, guys. So this is the front of the market. You see, as it says entrance. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I did scope it out a little bit. So I think I know where we're going to go to, too. This one looks really good. They have like a hummus pizza, which I think we're going to have that for later. But first things first is I want to go to this one place over here. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi, sir. Hey, let's go. Hi, how are you? I'm always served. Good. So I see you have some delicious Filipino food. Can you tell me what it is? Rice cake served with salted egg. And this one is sticky rice. Okay. Like this, sir. And this one, uh, what is the famous one? What is it called? Bibinka. 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 Okay. English is rice cake with salted egg. Rice cake with salted egg. It looks nice. So can I have one bibinka, please? Always served. All right. Let's see how you make it. So you guys, you see they start off with the banana leaf over here. And then she's gonna cut it into the shape of the babinka, right? i never seen this before, so I'm really excited to see it. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna put a uh, white egg. One white egg, okay. And rice cake. Rice cake batter? Yes, sir. Second, banana leaf. Banana leaf, okay. And I'm gonna shake it. Awesome. Well, I can really feel the heat over here with all the charcoals. Yes, sir. And we're gonna put uh, salted egg. Salted egg. And salted egg is famous in the Philippines, yes, right? Sir. And why is it red over there? I see red, it's red. Sir? Yeah, there's shells, shells. right? Shells. Oh, the shell, okay. Green color. Awesome. That's regular stuff. Special regular stuff. Okay. So you usually put like two eggs inside of it or one Three or parts, sir. Huh? Three parts. Three parts, okay. Yes, I like it. It's really nice. And then I'm gonna put that charcoal. Charcoal, okay, top. awesome. Nice. And then how long do you usually wait for it to finish? Five minutes to ten minutes. Five to ten, ten minutes. minutes. And then, do you right now have finished product already? Yes, sir. All right, let's get a finished one. Because now I know how you do it. This one, sir. Awesome. Ooh. I, oh, wow, it's really hot. Yes, sir. Fresh out of the charcoal. Yes, <laughs> I would say the oven, but yeah, the charcoal. Hey, can you hold this real quick? Oh, okay. All right, guys. So we're going to try out one Ivinka, and that is for how many pesos? 120. 120 pesos. So let's see how the bibinka is today. Awesome. Topping, sir. Coconut. Coconut topping. Let's go. All right. Thank you. And actually, yeah. So let me pay 120. Looks delicious. Masarap. 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 Two thumbs up too. Okay. Awesome. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna pay real quick too. So just keep the camera rolling. Why not? <laughs> here's 100, and then uh, here's another 100. Just give me 50 back. 30 is tip for you. Thank you, thank sir. You. Thank you. Salamat. Maraming salamat. Salamat. And salamat. also, uh, we can find you here at the market every Sunday, right? Yes, sir. So guys, try it out. And let's let's give it a try ourselves. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. We'll see you. Okay, guys. So Kyoko, I got one for us. Okay. I got one for us today. 
because I'm just gonna eat. She's not gonna eat. No, I'm just playing. Uh, no, I got one for us because uh, we're going to share. <laughs> no, I'm just going. We got one for us because uh, I think it's better that I share with her some food today because we're going to have a lot of food today. So uh, let's see how this. Hi guys. Hi. So that was actually uh, dirty ice cream that I found that last time. And now we're going to go to the seating area, eat it, and see what she thinks about the food. Do you remember the name of this? No, which one? Uh, Bibinka. Yeah. Bibinka, good. Bibinka. Good she remembers because I don't really remember. remember. Oh, really? Bibinka. <laughs> Bibinka, yeah. I need to eat it a few times and then uh, I'll remember the name. Yeah. Okay, now here is the seating area of the market. And we just have to find an area that has two seats. Excuse me, is anyone sitting here? No, go ahead. All right, cool. Sorry. It's okay. Take this. Okay. So we got the first food of the day, and let's try it out. Okay, you can do the honors and open it up. Where are you guys from? Uh, I'm from America, and she's from Japan. Nice. Yeah. So we're recording the bibinka. Where are you from? I take your photo or something. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you. I'm from Manila. I'm from Manila. Nice. All right. Is it your first time to try Vivinka? Yes, first time trying oh, Vivinka. Mm, masarab, okay, so sarab. I hope it's masarab where you got from. Vivinka, all right. Very hot, right? Yeah. Yeah, guys, it's very hot. Okay, and then we put, and I have a question. Do we put the coconut shavings on top of it? You can. You can? And it has sugar, so. Is this what you usually do? It completes the experience. Yeah. Okay, here, here, here. Let me. Okay. Here, I'll do it. Maybe you should do half without and half with. Half with, half without. Okay. I see. It's here, also the coconuts, right? Yeah, here, guys. I'm gonna open it up real quick and you can put the camera more on me. Yeah, sure, no problem. Put this. This, alright, this is the first pavinka, guys. Okay. Try it out. Awesome. Do we use a fork or do we use our hands or how do we yeah. usually eat it? I'm you gonna use my hands. Or you slice it and then how, how, how do you usually do it? I, I would slice it like a pizza. Uh, but and then I'd get a piece and use my hands. We have like a... Yeah, it's really a pizza. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna do it with my hands. I'm gonna go wild a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. let me try. Is it? Okay, uh, okay so I got a piece of the babinka okay. with the coconut. I'm just gonna do like this. As always, it's been a... <laughs> How is it? It's very fluffy, uh, hot, salty too with the salted duck egg. Yeah. And also it's sweet from the coconuts too. Okay, uh, yeah, let me have one more try. A lot of different flavors. Very fluffy. It's kind of like a pancake with an egg inside of it. That's the best description. What do you think about it? You would describe it. I love it. it because it's salty, like you said. Those are duck eggs. It reminds me of like a pancake with an egg inside of it. A salted. Those are duck eggs. Mm, like yeah. fermented. Salted. Sorry, not fermented. Salted eggs. So fermented. My friend's gonna try it out. Yeah. Let's see. Mm. It's good. It's a fluffy. Fluffy, and okay. Then, I think salty and sweet. Salty and sweet. Combinations. Combination, mm, okay. Mm, mm. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, it's good. I think I need more coconut. Yeah, I think I like it. It's like salty, sweet with the fluffiness. Mm -hmm. I like it when it's a little burnt. Yeah. You know what? I wanna. You guys have to try too, please, and don't don't no, say. No, I'm not taking no for an answer. <laughs> I know you tried it. I want you to try this bibinka. You yeah, give me. Try bibinka. This is my son, Sebi. Awesome. Uh, so you have two sons? I one over three, here? Actually, I only have two today. Two today, okay. One is um, with his dad. Okay. Okay. We're going to cut you a slice because. Mm -hmm. I don't think you've ever tried it. Have you tried Bibinka? Oh, then you're going to try it today. You're going to have a delicious Filipino food. We usually yeah. have it, well, tradition, traditionally it's available during Christmas. During Christmas? Yeah, if the stand, yeah. If the stand also has puto bong bong, you should try it also. Puto bong bong. I think yeah. it may have had puto bong bong, but we'll try that out next time. But please, uh, guys, try it out. I want, I want you to try it out. And you have to give me your honest opinion. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think I like it if it's less egg. Less egg. All right. And you feel like it's salty or what? Less salty. Less salty. Less 
So guys, uh, Filipino kid, just tried it out. Amazing. <laughs> well, thanks I'm, I'm for making other, it happen. I'm letting other Filipinos try out Filipino food. <laughs> no, I'm just, uh, honestly, I just uh, enjoy seeing different types of street foods around the world. So I was like, uh, I heard this was famous, so I was like, might as well give it a try. Should, have you tried balut? Balut? No, I, I don't know if I'm that daring to try it out because it's like the half, half made egg already. So yeah. Um, speaking of eggs, street food I like quite quick. It's like fried small quail eggs. I, I actually, I think in Divisoria they have it, right? Huh? In Divisoria, quack quack. Divisoria? They like fry a lot of quack quack. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? Hey guys, so check this out. So this is the food over here. I'm just gonna be sitting with my friends. Well, my new friends over here and also my friend over here. So Kyoko, what do you think? Good? Yeah, it's good. There is good? A, yeah, it's I think good. also it's a too. So two approvals, Masarov. Let's try out our next food of the day. So we just finished that delicious food and now we're kind of thirsty. So we're gonna get something to drink. So hello guys. Hi. Hi. So you have three different drinks over here. You have the lemongrass iced tea, the pandan iced tea, and the what's called? Guayabano iced tea. Okay. Oh. Sour soap. Sour soap. Okay. Sour soap. Okay. So I had sour soap before, and I think I had lemongrass before. So can I try out your pandan? Sure. Um, which size do you want? The large one, small one? Let's go with the small one, because okay. there's a lot of things to see in this market today. So yeah. And let's see what does it say. It says pandan iced tea health benefits reduces headaches, arthritis, Ooh. boosts immune system, helps control blood sugar. Awesome. And is this one of your best sellers? Yes, it's one of our best sellers. One of the three best sellers. <laughs> okay, awesome. And you said this one is for 60 pesos? Yes. Okay. And Pandan, the, it's a green type of... Uh, uh, it's an uh, aromatic leaf. Aromatic leaf. It's used, okay. it's used for cooking. Cooking. And can we have two straws, please? Okay. So I have my friend, she could try it out too. Why not? Uh, Alright. I open that. Awesome. And let me give you 60 pesos real quick. Here's 50 and just one second. Hey, I will give you 20 more. That's a tip for you guys. Oh, so 70. You. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I like to support your business. Why not? And you're here every Sunday? Yes, from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay, thank you. Salamat. Thank you. Awesome. So we got the famous pandan iced tea of the Philippines. <laughs> bye bye. So Kyoko, have you ever had this kind of drink before? No, I haven't. I haven't tried the pandan. Okay. So you do the honors. You could go first. Okay. Okay, pandan. I think it's my first time. I think. Let's see. Yeah, it's a sweet, sweet. But uh, I don't know that what's the taste. Something. It's the pandan. That's the taste. <laughs> you're tasting. You're tasting pandan. <laughs> you're tasting pandan. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, this. Uh, oishi desu ka? Oishi, oishi. Oishi. Mm. There we go, we oishi. got the oishi it's, approval. I think it's a good for the headache, right? Yeah. Uh, that's nice. Well, you don't have headache, you're with me. So it's opposite of headache. What do you mean so? <laughs> I think I have headache. <laughs> oh no, you believe that? <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> Here, let me try this out real quick too. Okay. Uh, you yeah, 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 you can record me, why not? As always, bismillah, let's give it a try. It's cold, icy, sweet, and you have a strong taste of the pandan. That's the thing she was missing out. Yeah, really strong pandan taste. For some reason, I thought it would be more uh, green from the pandan, but since it's iced tea, I guess that's why it has the the blacker blacker thing. But yeah, uh, awesome. Yeah, have more. Try it out. I guess we could like walk around a little bit of this area and just uh, show you guys too. They sell a lot of incense over here. They have, hi guys, how are you? Some chicken bowls, some other stuff too. But I love over here, it seems like the market over here is more like organic and fresh. Over here is another seating area too, which I think last time we just went to the opposite side, we missed the seating area too, but yeah. A lot of fruits and vegetables that are native to this area, such as these two fruits, that's a uh, megastine. And that is, I'm not sure what that is. Hi, hello. Wait, what is this fruit exactly? This one, what is it called? Guayapana sour salt. Guayapana sour salt. Oh, wait, that's sour salt. Okay. I usually have the sour salt drink, but I don't have it like the normal plant version. Thank you. And then these are watermelons? Papaya. Papaya. Okay, papaya. Yeah. 
You see, I'm from America. I don't know so many different types because these fruits are not native to America. All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, guys, we got some other like uh, greeneries over here, some greens. But yeah, guys, uh, that being said, pandan, delicious. Get your pandan drink on. Totally recommend it. Let's see what else we can find. Hey guys, so we're on a quest for the third food of the day, but look at this. We found this big cat with this lady. Very relaxed cat. What kind of cat is it? It's a Maine Coon. Maine Coon. And I love its ears. He's only seven months old. Oh, seven wow. Months. And he's that so big? Big. He will grow bigger. Oh, uh, wow. You should make a TikTok channel for him. <laughs> There's this one TikTok channel I saw. They have like this big... Uh, it's not a cat, it's something similar to a cat. I forgot what it's called, but it has like long ears and stuff, similar to the Maine Coon. Really interesting. Have you tried any of the food already? Yeah, I tried the... What did we try? The... Bibinka. Bibinka, and then also we have this pandan drink, which we never tried out too. And now we're on... We're gonna go straight ahead, which they have like the hummus... Hummus pizza. Mm, have yeah, you had hummus good. before? It's good, it's good. I never had pizza with hummus. So I don't know how it's going to be. Yeah. Because I am um, part Middle Eastern, so I'm kind of skeptical about it. I don't know. Because how I never no, had hummus no, with pizza. I think they also mix it with, uh, with spinach. So. Is it okay if we pet the cat or? Hmm? If we pet the cat or? Yeah, it's okay. No. Growing up, I had two cats. We had, uh, what do we have? What is the Siamese cat? Oh, Siamese. Yeah, Siamese cat and other domestic breeds. So they don't shed a lot. Yeah. Right? This is a long haired cat, yeah. yeah. It looks really nice. Is it a smart cat? It must be. With the, yeah. It is. Uh, he's just not used to a lot of people compared to the other cats uh, that we got. But he's, he's, the, he's, he's the most baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's the newest one. Yeah, because I usually in Asia something is interesting. Usually the tails look like people cut off the tails, and I was telling my friend that's actually in Asia the cats are just genetically like that. Is that correct? Yeah, it is. Okay. Awesome. What do you sell over here? Oh, we sell Chinese food on the other side. Oh, Chinese food. So can you speak Chinese? Well, my husband does. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Nico, you should one more. Oh. Indian. Yeah, yeah, Indian. Uh, what language is Shanghai? Shanghai, right? Oh, from Hong Kong. Yeah. Oh, Thai hao le. So you speak Guangdong? Oh, hiya. Hiya. I'm um, hiya. <laughs> no, you don't know. Okay. My husband does. Okay. I can only speak a little bit Cantonese, but I know Mandarin. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. We're the one beside the takoyaki. The Japanese takoyaki. Yeah. 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 Bye bye, Rocky. Bye. Oh, look at this. He's even sticking out his tongue. Maybe he's thirsty. I don't know. By the way, bye bye, guys. Nice to meet you. Okay. You see, I had to bust up my Chinese. Just, you know, because she said she, spoke, she sold Chinese food. So I was like, do you speak Chinese? No. But, anyways, uh, that being said, we're just going to continue on. This is really cool to see that cat, right? Mm -mm. Yeah. Have you ever seen that kind of cat before? No, I haven't seen that. It's a, only the seven months, right? It's yeah. It's so big. You see guys, you guys have to come to the Sunday market here in Manila. You see so many different things. You, know, you see cats, you see different foods, you see Japanese people, Japanese, you see yeah. American people, you see everything. But now let's go and try this out. Oh, okay. I, think, I think this is very interesting. So uh, I never had it before. So let's see. Oh, let's see. Hi, Paul. Hello, how are you? Good. Good. You're, you're fantastic? Yeah. Okay, so I see you have different types of pizzas over here. And you have two hummus based pizzas, it looks like. Which one? The shashlik chicken and the olives and feta. But we have no feta as of today. Oh my god. Mozzarella. We can put mozzarella if you want. Mozzarella? Yeah. More mozzarella. Ah, so what, what, which one would you recommend to get the shashlik chicken or and the, the olives and feta? Special lamajun. Special lamajun. I want the one. Oh wait, is the hummus also? No, I want the one hummus because I love hummus. I come with hummus. We can put hummus if you want with the special lamajun. Let me see. Lamajun is special lamajun is. It's so beige, but we can put hummus as well. Yeah, instead of pesto, you put hummus. Mm. You don't like pesto? How how the shashlik? The shashlik is with hummus. Chicken, onions, black olives. Let's, let's do the shashlik. I think that one's best. Yeah. 
One sash leek. And can I see how you make it? Yes, sir. All right, let's so see. So just one sash leek? Yes, please. One sash leek chicken. So, to me, it's very interesting. I never had a hummus pizza, so <laughs> it's a little bit taboo for Middle Eastern people. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> with the pizza? Brilliant. It's brilliant? It's okay. Excellent. And now it's time for the pizza, guys. So let's see how it is. The hummus pizza. Go and then we got the hummus bread. Let me know, have you guys ever had a hummus pizza before? It's so unique to me. Only here in the Philippines can you find this hummus pizza. Let's see what he's adding. What is this? Mushrooms? Alright, awesome. Got the olives, black olives too, so, okay, so far it looks pretty good. And then we have, these are sun-dried tomatoes? Bell peppers. Bell peppers, oh okay. Oh, they're sun-dried toma tomatoes with their bell pepper. Let's just go over here, change the angle up real quick. Sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes, okay. Wow, well, I could smell all the ingredients. Really nice. Okay. Then we got some chicken. Look at that, guys. Nice, juicy chicken. You can see all the oil and stuff in the chicken. So it does look juicy. And they were telling me per day they sell around like 50 pizzas per day. You believe that? Oh, and then we got the cheese to top it off. Because what well, pizza wouldn't be complete without the cheese? Oh wow, guys! This looks so delicious. Only here in the Philippines can you find this kind of pizza. Oh, uh, now he's putting it into the gas oven. Is it okay if I come over here just to uh, show? Yeah. Wow, look at this, guys. So this is a gas oven over here. And how long does it take to cook? Five minutes only. Well, only five minutes, guys. So that being said. Let's wait, let's wait, uh, here, I'll come over here real quick, I'll show you a little bit more. Wow, look at that guys, awesome. So let's wait five minutes and see the finished product and then we'll try it out. All right, so the pizza is about to be out right now. Ooh, look at that guys, only took about five minutes, as he said. Hummus pizza, that's what I like to see. Man, guys, it's just fresh out of the oven. You can really smell the aroma of all the different flavors coming together. And then we got this. Woo-wee! I can't wait to try it out. Oh, and we got some sauces here. Some garlic and chili sauce. Awesome. Garlic and chili sauce. That's what I like to see. I love to sauce it up, guys. If you know me, I love sauces. No, no, no need for Thai. I'm going to try it out right now. Thank you. But I do need to pay guys, so I do need to pay, so let me pay real quick. So it's uh, 450 pesos here. This is how 500 pesos looks like guys, just in case you haven't seen it before. And uh, thank you so much sir. Okay guys, uh, let's pay real quick. Okay, here you go. Uh, who should I give the money to? Emmanuel. Emmanuel? Oh, hi. So, for the pizza. That's uh, the shashlik. Awesome. Thank you so much. Salamat Paul. Thank you guys. More power. More power. We're gonna get the hummus power right now. Yeah. Okay, can't wait to try it out. Have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you. Okay guys. We got the pizza. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh man, I can't wait. Honestly, this is like one of the most exciting things of today because I love hummus and uh, why not just have it with the pizza? So what do you think? Have you had hummus before? Yes, yes, I have before. What do you think it's going to be with the pizza? What's oh, your thoughts? I, I can't imagine. The <laughs> yes, I can. Yeah guys, honestly, I can't imagine too, so... We both can't imagine. <laughs> That's good we have the pizza, so then after we eat it, we can stop the imagination. Okay. Alright, now we are back in the 
the depths of the food market. Uh, we gotta find a place to sit down. So once we find a place to sit down, we'll see you in the next shot. Check it out guys, this is the Hummel's Pizza one more time. Now it's time to dig in. So let's grab a slice and see how it is. Oh, let me see, grab the slice. Looks like a nice sushi slice. There's chili and garlic, but I think I'm just gonna have the pizza by itself. Ooh, oh man, part of it fell off, guys, that's how it is. Actually, you know what, can you hold it? Yeah, I think my, uh, you know, I'm just so used to guys recording by myself that I forget that I have a friend with me right now. Let's put that bit back, and as always, we still have. It's actually really good. Oh. Yeah, you have the creaminess from the hummus and the cheese, so you get the fatty from the cheese, also saltiness. Then with the olives and the tomatoes and the peppers, you get a lot of saltiness as well. And it's I like it's kind of crispy from the bottom. Give you another bite. Mm. Very good. As they say in the Philippines, masala. Definitely, I recommend trying this out. It's a little bit different than normal pizza, but. The flavors somehow work together. Now my friend is going to try it out too, so okay. you do the honors. First time trying out Hamel's yeah, pizza. it's my first time to try it. Itakimasu. Itakimasu. Mmm. 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 Oh, uh -huh. Oishi, okay. Mm, mm, mm. What do you think? Like, what, what is the flavors that are running through your mouth right now? It's, I don't know how to say. It's not heavy, not overly. The other, if I compare with the uh, usual pizza, it's more fresh. Fresh, okay. Mm. Well, it just came out of the oven, so yeah, it's probably mm. awesome. Mm -hmm. Would you get it again? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have the mm -mm approval. So mm -mm means that's really good. <laughs> Let me have one more bite with the... Uh, normally? Let me see. Mm. But you know what guys, let's try it with the garlic real quick. Actually, yeah, please. I love that I have extra hands today. Thank you so much. And while you're at this, maybe you can open this too, please. Oh, look at this. Let's try it out. Alright, thank you so much. So I think this is like chili sauce over here. So let's dip in some chili sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, wow, really spicy. Wow. Got the garlic sauce too. The garlic, I don't know. Kind of goes with it, but I like the chili sauce more. And I do like how it's like really graining the crust and stuff. But yeah, guys, I highly recommend it. Now we, we have a lot of pizza, so you gotta stay hungry because we might have some more food coming your way, okay? <laughs> Alright guys, that being said, we're just gonna finish up the pizza and uh, see you next shot. Master up! Okay, so I just put this guy over here and he's gonna try out the hummus pizza and see how it is. This is my first time having hummus pizza. Grab any slice yeah, you yeah. like. Yeah. It's so much for us, so I was like, might as well just share it with you guys. Thank you. So no tomato sauce, it's just hummus base. Mm. Very unique. Have you ever had a hummus pizza before? Never had it. Okay, so this is your first time too. Yeah. Really good. Really good. It's pizza, but it's. There's no tomatoes. Oh, okay. It's not as sour. So. Actually, they do have some sun-dried tomatoes inside of it. They do. Mm, okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay, awesome. Very, very unique flavor. <laughs> unique flavor? Okay, I like yeah, to hear that. For sure. Okay, guys. Yeah, because we just have a big pizza, guys. So we're like, might as well share it with the people. But yeah. Thanks for trying it out. I just want to get another point of view of like uh, how the pizza is. Really awesome. Thank you. Awesome. All right, guys. So we found another unique food for today. This is called Maryland chicken and it's a Filipino American fusion so I'm in the Philippines and I'm American so why not see the fusion this is the guy who made this and the best seller hey hello, hello there. so the best seller dessert is this deep fried watermelon yep. okay so let's let's check out the deep fried watermelon so it's Mississippi fried watermelon slices made from quick quick style 
Sounds disgusting, but tastes delicious. Not from my words, I'm just reading from here. <laughs> so it's a Filipino and American fusion. Okay. So his, grand, his grandma would just batter up an entire slice of watermelon and then fry it and then serve it like that with her homemade vanilla icing. Okay. So my mother saw that idea and thought it was a great idea. It's a unique and nice meal. But when we tried to sell it here, of course, it didn't go too well. It was too big, it was too American. So what she did is mix it with louder. a popular street dish called Quick Quick, thus making the Filipino and American fusion. Awesome. Deep fried watermelon made a la Quick Quick style. Guys, have you guys ever had Quick Quick style watermelon? And what does Quick Quick mean? Even? So Quick Quick is a quail leg, just battered up. It's the same process as our uh, deep fried watermelon. It's a street food quail leg. And can I see how she's making it right now? All right, thank you. So can you go through the process of how it's made? Just uh... So the process is... So that's our batter. Okay. We usually, have, we usually scoop out a ball of watermelon. Okay. And roll it around, batter it up. Then put it around this. And afterwards, we fry it. So I basically scoop a uh, ball of watermelon, then you put it in that batter. Yep. And then we put, put it in, in that. Some, well, secret dish. Secret, okay, secret, secret stuff. Recipe. And then uh, so go oil. Around. Awesome. And right now you can see guys, they are frying three balls. And that, that is a finished product. Wow, I never had deep fried water. That seems really interesting. Yeah, it's our more unique type of dish. Thus, the saying sounds disgusting and tastes delicious. Honestly, it sounds, it sounds good and also taste. I don't know, it sounds even better. I don't know. It's, for me, it sounds good and maybe it might even taste even better. But I guess if. Because I'm really open to different types of street food, so I think that's cool. And grandma's homemade vanilla icing. So is she the grandma? <laughs> no, no, this is so. Our, these are our cooks. Grandma and all the recipes are over in America. Oh, so we have to go after this video. We're gonna fly to America and find the grandma and search for the grandma's icing. But yeah, awesome. That's really cool. All right, I'm gonna step aside for real quick, guys. And thank you so much, bro. And uh, how much is it? It's only one fifty for three golf ball size pieces. One fifty for three pieces. All right, can you hold this real quick, Kyoko? All right, guys, time to pay. 150. And 150 guys, uh, I didn't think I mentioned in the video, like uh, $1 USD equals 58 Filipino pesos, so 150 is around like a little bit less than $3 USD. And there's 150 Alright. Oh, there we go, we got it in the box. Alright, so the first thing we do with these deep fried watermelons is we add some of my great grandmother's homemade vanilla icing. It really ties it all together. Ooh, alright. And I'll be giving you two bamboo skewers. So you two can enjoy it a la quick quick style. Quick quick watermelon, yeah. There you go. Awesome, thank you so much. Salamat po. Yeah. And uh, can we get some uh, tissue maybe? Yeah. Look at that guys. Ooh. Can't wait to dig in, it looks really unique. Alright. Thank you. There you go, take care. See you. Sobrang mainit, meaning it's super hot, so you gotta let it sit for a bit. Alright, awesome. We'll let us sit. Hopefully we'll just go to like this table and we'll let us sit for a little bit. Thank you, bro. Take care. Bye-bye. So now we have the fried watermelon. Okay, so let's give it a try. So I'm gonna take one stick and my friend will take one stick too. Here, take one stick. Awesome. So cheers. Cheers. For fried watermelon. Okay, Bismillah, I hope it doesn't explode in my face. Let's see. Oh, so it's my money now. Okay, you're right there. Mm. Wow, it's really tasty. Mmm, what's this? It's sweet uh, from the center because of the watermelon. It's crunchy from this, and also it's like soft and doughy. Mm -hmm. It's like a really nice dough ball. And then it also has like the sweetness from the from the icing, the vanilla icing, what do you think about it? Yeah, it's good. The, the, it's my first time to eat warm watermelons. Yeah. The texture is different. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it's really tasty, guys. And I'm surprised, like... Uh, mm. Yeah, I'm surprised. It's really tasty. It's basically... What do I want to taste like? It kind of tastes like a donut ball with like... Uh, if you ever like those donut balls with like uh, watermelon in the middle. Mm. Mm. So the watermelon was like the core of it, and then we just have this like dough filling, which uh, 
It kind of just reminds me of like a donut. Yeah. And I just have this by itself, the filling. Mm -hmm. Crunchy and gooey. Really good, guys. And uh, I just stumbled across from it and I stumbled on it and definitely would recommend it to you guys. What do you think? Mm, I recommend it. It's so we have one thumbs up yeah. from me, one thumbs up from you. One stick up from her. <laughs> but yeah guys, really delicious and uh, we're gonna have to eat one more of these and yeah. Loving the market so far, very nice. It's, it's still open, it's one o'clock right now so places are starting to close up and setting up to finish the day. But yeah, see what else we find today but uh, let's go and see what we can find. Okay guys, well I'm very thirsty and I just found this drink stand over here and also my friend is thirsty okay, here. Yes, I see. <laughs> and look, as you can see, they have a lot of different types of drinks. This is what they have in the Philippines. Hello. Hello. Como esta capo? Oh, <laughs> uh, can I have avocado drink? Yes. And can I get the small cup too, please? Okay. Yes. What size? Small, please. 50 pesos. Only 50 pesos? Yeah. Very good deal. <laughs> what? Yes, the avocado one, please. One of the best sellers. Yes, the best It's one of the one of the six best sellers. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I like to hear. They have fresh fruit salad, yes, dragon fruit, salad, mango. Oh. Fruit, mango, tomato. What is this one? Talandan. Talandan. Oh. Watermelon. Fresh watermelon. Okay, let's try this out. And uh, no need for the cap. Okay. And can I just have two straws? Okay. So my friend could try it out too. Thank you. Uh, do you have straw or no straw? Yes, no straw. You just two straws, please. Yeah, I'm gonna share it with her. Thank you. Okay. Salamat. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Okay. okay, guys. So this is the first time I'm trying avocado drink here in the Philippines. Wow, look at this. This is how it looks like. It's like dark green. Yeah. That's dark green. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna get. Actually, ladies first. You try okay. it out first. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. Good. Tasty? Yeah, tasty. Tasty, but uh, what does it taste? Sweet or what? Not, is it? not really avocado. Not really it's, avocado. Yeah, what? Yeah, it's just creamy. Creamy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So let me give it a try too here. Put the camera on me. Okay. As always, this one, guys. It's sweet, creamy. I do have a hint of the avocado, mm. but I, I see what she's saying. It's not really strong avocado mm -hmm. taste. It's more of a creamy taste. So I think they mix like some milk with the avocado. Mm -hmm. That's what I have to say, yeah. But very tasty. And I'm gonna keep this and no more drink for you, okay? No, 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 just here, here you go. Here, that's your your side. So you guys can see the market is packing up, guys. Oh, there's even another. Wow, I didn't even know this. There's another uh, drink stand over there too. We got Boku Pandan juice. We got another cool stuff too. There's a lot more foods to see over here in this market. Unfortunately, some of the food that I did want to record today, they closed down very quick, just like around like 12.30. Because I think some of these people, when they open at the market, they will just stay open until they sell out. And then once they sell out, they're like, we're leaving, we're gonna enjoy our Sunday, which is understandable. But uh, overall, what did you think about this market, Kyoko? The market? Yeah, I'm what do you think about this? Yeah, it's good to... So are you gonna come back here? Yeah, yeah, I'll come back, yes. Uh, it's a good food and uh, people are so nice. Uh, Alright, awesome. Yeah. So would you recommend people to come here? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. So now now I showed my friend this market. So now you're gonna come every Sunday, okay? Mm -hmm. Make sure. Okay, every <laughs> Sunday I come. <laughs> well, I'm just joking guys. But anyways, yeah, I highly recommend the market too. One of the most interesting things today was the the eggs we had earlier, that one they have on Christmas and then also uh, the pizza, just everything was very really delicious today. Also that watermelon. Let me know what was your favorite food today. As always, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And uh, thank you so much for the channel members. I really appreciate it too, for watching this video. Even if you're not a channel member, you can become one. But uh, even if you're not, I just really appreciate you watching. Thank you so much. See you on the next one. And if you want to watch more videos, just click somewhere up on the screen. Peace, and I will see you on the next one. Take care, guys.